Kristen here with Lily Row Gardens and I'm about ready to pot up some of uh, string of bananas succulent and I just wanted to show you how easy it is now I started working with succulents last summer and I, I had not been very familiar with them obviously the hens and chicks that outside but I'm talking more about the indoor ones that are all the different varieties that I shouldn't say indoor I should say they're called soft succulents so you can't they will not go outside if you're I don't even know as above a zone or below a zone seven eight and I again please don't quote me on that you, if you live in California or in uh, somewhere where it's tropical or, or warmer, then the soft succulents you can plant outside. In Pennsylvania, no. You need to plant out the hardy ones, which would be your, what I always refer to as hens and chicks. But anyway, uh, the succulents are a lot of fun to me. They were, have been very easy as long as you don't overwater them. I've learned and which is perfect for me because I tend to neglect things or forget. So they're very forgiving. But I just wanted to show real quick how easy it is to propagate these things. And I have an example here. These are some that uh, I took the leaves off. So if I pulled this off and and had a clean break from the stem. And I set this in the, in the soil, on, t on the top of the soil, and I would spray it once a day or so just to keep it moist. And it, within a matter of days, a, a week or so, it would root itself and form a brand new succulent off of this leaf. And all of these that you can see in here were exactly that. Um, I just put them in here maybe a week ago. I snapped them off the leaves that they had formed on the tip of the leaf from the succulent that I had been propagating. And as you can see, they all formed their own little succulents themselves. So very easy. And uh, a few days ago, I took my string of bananas, now a string of bananas is a draping one and they just look, they call it the bananas because they look like little bananas. There's also a string of dolphins, string of pearls which look like little round balls. This is my string of dolphins that I took off another plant and they, uh, they look like little dolphins and I put them in here, they're rooted in, they're growing Again, I'm gonna to have to cut, give them a haircut. And I, what literally all you do is you cut here and you can, I let these sit out for a few days to, to put a callus over where I cut them. And then you l literally just put them in the soil and keep an eye on them. Don't let them get too dried out the first few weeks that you have them in here. But these are firmly rooted in, this is probably been a month since I did this and this was another I just cut this off and stuck it in there and they're all firmly rooted in this soil so that's a great way to propagate your succulents and to just keep them they need maintenance so when they get too tall you just cut them and repot them but this is what I'm going to do tonight with my string of bananas which have been sitting out for probably six days when I cut them off the plant and I've been needing to do this job. So I have this little pot. It, I think this is actually a ramekin that I got at the thrift store and I drilled a hole in it with a, you just need a diamond bit and water. So as you're drilling, I do it outside in the summertime so that I don't make a mess. I can just do it in the yard. And as I'm drilling, I have the hose spraying on there. And it really takes very little time when you have the water and the combination of the diamond drill bit. 
the same thing with this one. This is a just a teacup that I stuck a hole in. So if you find a nice vessel or a pot that you think would be good for succulents and it doesn't have a hole in it, it's not that difficult to drill one in. And I do, being very much a novice at this, I do have drainage in all of my pots. Then I just take, uh, I have a little piece of screen. I know you're probably not gonna be able to see that. I stick it over the hole, use my cactus potting soil, which there's several brands that you can get, but I do use that to pot these things up with. Stick it in, spread it, pat it down, and then you can just start sticking them in. And that's as easy as that. Now I will keep an eye on these and I will water this in so it, I don't even know which end of that, I think that's the end that I cut. So this is a good way if you want to uh, get more plants or share plants that you have. If you're going to do succulent arrangements and you want the draping, for instance this, this is a very, very basic arrangement because I only have this one in and that, but if you wanted to have more and as the summer approaches, I'll be able to put these outside and use them, do more experiments with uh, arrangements and such. There's so many great ideas online that you can copy or once you get used to working with them, you can just be creative as you want. So this is um, a string of dolphins, but this is how it looks when it's new. Doesn't You can't see the dolphins forming, but I have a, a big hanging pot of a string of dolphins and this just came out of the top of it. It's fresh. And then as it grows, the, the leaves will turn more into the dolphins. So that's it. I am going to I spray the top so I don't dis dislodge anything. I'll give it a good spray. And if you don't have lights, just stick it in a nice sunny windowsill or put it under lights. And that's as easy as that and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Have a good night.